Hello, family. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, preserving flour and rice. For when they run out, you already have some put up and put away. So first, we're going to talk about what I did to the flour. This is the flour. And I dated it. And I made sure it was airtight at the end. So what I did with the flour is uh, I had like four bags of flour. Uh, I might have like eight jars. And what I did is uh, I took like two pans, turned on the oven, and I cooked the flour for about probably like two hours. Make sure uh, if it had any bugs or anything in it that they are dead. Because y'all know uh, flour uh, develop uh, them little bugs. What? That's why when I go to the store, I look uh, like on the side of the uh, of the flour and make sure I don't see them little bugs crawling around. Because I know uh, they will develop. And some people don't know that. But anyway, I cooked it for about two hours. And then uh, with my jars, I washed my jars. And then I boiled them on the stove. And uh, make sure they were clean and everything. And then take the uh, the uh, top and whatever they are, the lids, and put them in hot water, clean them, put them in hot water, and uh, you put them on while they are hot. And then they uh, end up sealing themselves. But after you put your flour in, make sure you uh, take a paper towel, wipe around the edge, then put your little top right here on, and then you screw this on, and then uh, it'll uh, seal by itself. And this will happen with these. And then, uh, yeah, that's how you preserve all your flour. And then let's talk about the rice. So what I did with the rice is uh I put the rice on the in uh the freezer in a bowl for three days. I think I got like eight jars of the rice also. What I made. So I put it in the freezer for three days, took it out, and just let it sit. Because y'all know it's gonna be cold in here. And then uh after I cleaned my jars and everything and uh had the same way with the uh as the flour, put the tops and clean your tops and stuff and put them on the stove in hot water and then when you uh after you wipe it off and stuff and put this on then in the ring, you uh it'll uh, seal by itself. That's what happened with these, but after I put my rice in, I put uh, I put bay leaves inside the rice. Oh, y'all know roaches don't like bay leaves either. But anyway, put your uh, bay leaves inside the rice. Fill it half full. Same with the flour. The flour. Fill it half full. Put in your bay leaves. And then put your top. Wipe it off. Put your top after your, after your rice. Put your top, your lid, and all that, and then it's gonna seal by itself. See, it'll seal by itself with the hot tops and I think hot jars or whatever. It'll seal by itself. But uh, or you can use this right here to seal it, like I said in my other video, which you get from Amazon. But I think this is the easiest way because sometimes it don't work. Uh, well, for me, I like this. It's the best way I found out how to do it. And you don't need the machine unless you want want to use the machine to sell it. But, uh, yeah, but uh, if you have uh, the hot tops and, I guess, uh, hot jars or whatever, sometimes you don't need a hot, hot ass jar. But the hot tops, it'll sell it. Yep. 
for your rice. And put your rice, your bay leaves, put those hot tops on, and it's going to seal by itself. And the rice and the flour. That's how I did it. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.